So one of the questions I get a lot now that I am close to 60 years old is, Clark, what do you do differently now than when you were 30, for example? The reality is I don't do a lot different, but I've learned a lot in the last three decades in the fitness industry. And I want to share three simple things with you in this video, and it applies to anyone at any age, regardless of your gender. But there's one thing I want to share with you first. Exercise makes my age just a number and yours too. So remember that. It doesn't matter how old you are. We can all still exercise. We can all still change our body. Believe it. Tip number one, time under tension or T-U-T. -T. It refers to how slowly you are moving through the exercise. We're going to use a dumbbell press for this example. I want you to use a tempo of three, one, three. Three on the eccentric or lowering phase of the movement. Pause for one at the bottom and then three on the concentric phase or the lifting phase of the movement and pause for one at the top. Time under tension really does help you with the next point I want to give you. But one thing I want you to think about with time under tension is this. Go slow and grow. Your muscles will be happy that you did this. Tip number two, mind-muscle connection. You've heard me talk about this before, and it's vitally important that we connect our mind to our muscle. I cannot begin to tell you the amount of people that I see in gyms just throwing a weight around trying to get from rep one to rep ten to complete the set when... If you use time under tension and then apply a mind-muscle connection, so we'll take a bicep curl for this example. We're gonna slowly curl it up with time under tension, thinking about what our bicep is doing and actually adding to that by connecting our mind to our muscle and contracting that muscle even harder. Then when you get to the top, you pause it at a peak contraction and then you think about you're lowering it. Your bicep is now like a brake, slowly lowering back down. Now, if we cut to this shot right here of me and no weight, you can see it's actually working even with no weight in my hand. So time under tension plus mind muscle connection leads me to the third one, consistency over intensity. Now there will be a time for intensity in your workouts, but consistently you're better off being consistent than being intense. Every once in a while, I'll do one of these metabolic mayhem workouts, and that's fun to be intense. But my goal on a day-to-day -day basis in the gym isn't to be so intense that I can't be consistent. It isn't to make myself so sore that I can put on this badge of honor. Yeah, bro, I trained two hours in the gym today. I busted my ass. Look, I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck and the most results in the least amount of time. And I promise you, if you apply these three things, that is going to happen for you. Let's go!